this is when it's just relaxed completely. Right? That's a poke. Oh, it's okay. Sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, that's a poke. That's a wing. So up and body comes out. Scrunching. Elevating. Hex. Serratus. Yeah. Okay. Um, when they lift their arms, they'll normally do it like this. You see how the shoulder blades stayed behind? Mm. The shoulder blades didn't go with the arm. So when you're in this position, all you have to say to your clients is reach your arms out of your sockets with thoracic extension. Instead of doing, sorry, pecs. That's what pecs looks like. That's what serratus looks like. So you can see it's a down and out swing. Okay? When they raise their arms up onto the right arm, the shoulder blade scoops out to the side. So here's the tip of my shoulder blade now. Most people, when they lift it, they get stuck with the tip over here. Okay? So they start lifting the arm like this, they shorten into their socket, they lift the arm, and they don't get that scoop out of the blade. And can you see how much the range changes when you get the scoop yeah. of the blade? Okay, it makes a huge difference. When they do lateral shoulder rotation, they join it. They don't get free movement in the shoulder socket. When they pull in, they use pick, so they bring this forward. They don't maintain this where it is and just pull in like that. Okay, so the shoulder blade's gonna come open a little bit, but you're not supposed to do this. When they open their arms out, they scrunch in, they open out. Scrunch in, open out. Instead of reaching out, opening out, and bring it in. Long movements, opening out, and bring it in. Okay, when they take their arms back, they immediately rotate the shoulder forward, and they get that lift, when it's not poking. There we go. Instead of only starting to do that at 45 degrees behind them. Does that make sense?